Uh, my memories of Manchester are very fond. I had a lovely time there, uh, apart from a, a rather scary start. Um, <laughs> now, it all happened because uh, my parents couldn't afford to pay for me to go to a university. They actually needed me to have an income to, because they were uh, impoverished by the recession of the 1930s. Uh, they had an art shop on the top of Brixton Hill in South London and uh, it was just going bust. Um, but very fortunately uh, I left school, a grammar school in South London, and went and took a job with a firm of consultants. And uh, they were a, a very capable um, pair of scientists. And they uh, took jobs, uh, solved problems for the photographic industry, all the way from the manufacture of gelatin, which of course was the substrate of films in the old days, all the way through to colour dyes that they synthesised for colour photography. Uh, and uh, I learned the first and important thing I learned from them, from uh, one of the partners, a man, Humphrey Desmond Murray. He said to me, whatever you do, never cheat. Always get uh, uh, the best answer you can. If you have any doubts about it with an analysis, come to see me. I will not chide you. I, I will try to help you get it right. And uh, he really meant this, and the, he emphasised it all. He said, if we give the wrong answer to firms, uh, it could lead to even to illness or death, to all sorts of things. It's really serious that you do your uh, uh, analysis correctly. And two years of working that way was more valuable in, in <laughs> education for me than anything, any university anywhere in the world could teach me. Now, it was put to practice almost immediately I went to Manchester. After two weeks I was called to see the professor, uh, um, Alexander Todd, who was uh, a Nobel Prize winner, a young man, and I think he got the prize for synthesizing the nucleosides that form the, part, the, the basis of DNA and RNA. So it was really important work. And he said, Lovelock, we're not keeping you here. We don't have cheats in this department. I said, what do you mean cheats? He said, no first year students ever get the, uh, their analysis of uh, the uh, bromide solution exactly right, two times running. Uh, you must have looked up the answer in the invigilator's notebook. And he said, you're a fool. If you just put two different answers down, we wouldn't have realised. But you had to put the same answer down twice. <laughs> and it took me ten minutes to explain to him that I could do that particular analysis in my sleep, practically. And I was used to getting it right. And he didn't really believe me, but he came to see me do a more difficult one the next day the analysis of sulphate ions uh, using uh, precipitation of barium sulphate. And after that, he said, oh, well. And then he looked at me and said, so what are we teaching the students then? <laughs> I said, well, it seems to me we're teaching them to pass examinations, not to do the job.